Listen guys, I get it. We've all had those days where we're down in the dumps, we don't feel good, you know, we just don't have that motivation. We lack that motivation. Sometimes we need a, just an extra little push to get us through the day or to conclude the day. Well, you know what guys, that's what this video is gonna be about. I usually hop on here to talk about sports betting, but there's a little more important that I wanna go over with you guys today. It's gonna be your mentality because that's 80% of anything that you're gonna do in your life. So that's what this video is gonna be about guys. I'm gonna go over three things that I like to use as motivation every day so that way I can make it through the day and make it to the next day. So if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys hit that bell for notifications so that way you guys are notified every time we pump out one of these videos. Also, if you wanna know about me or Linemaker Sports, go down in the description, click the link down there. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing I wanna go over with you guys is kind of like a quote that I like to use every single day. Now, this is the quote. Don't say I have to with anything that you do. You say I want to do it. I know it sounds a little cliche and you guys are probably thinking like, hey, I probably heard that before, but there is true meaning behind that because if you think every single day when you say I have to, I have to go to the work, I have to go to the gym, I have to go run errands. When you flip that over and say that I want to do those things, then you, you really have unlocked a different success in life because your mentality is not thinking, I don't have to go do this, it's gonna be a drain. Oh, you're being negative about it. Instead, you want to go do these things. And if you don't want to go do those things that you say you have to do, then you have to change exactly what your life is. Because if you do not enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy going to the nine to five job, going and clocking in and out, if you don't enjoy that, you need to figure out a way to change that. And how you're gonna figure out a way to change that is your mentality. Your mentality is gonna take you to new levels. You gotta master your mind first. So right off the bat, every morning that you wake up, do this for a week. I challenge you guys that are watching this video for a week. Every day that you wake up, instead of saying I have to go to work, or I have to go do this, or I have to go to the gym, say I want to, and see how that changes your personality and how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. All right guys, so number two, now what I want to go over is executing your goals and not giving up on them I see this every day every day I see people try to start businesses they try to start sports betting they try to do everything and it doesn't work out right in the first couple weeks and then they give up this is something that you can't do guys you have to be able to see it through you have to continuously do something and not make money doing it. you have to continuously hammer away and grind at it you have to because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to see what's down the road, what's the future, what's the goals here. You're not gonna be able to see it because you never made it that far. Everybody wants instant results, but the long run game, there is no instant results. The results come down the road. Whether you're starting a business, whether you are starting to go to the gym, no matter what it is that you're doing, you need to continuously do it. You need to execute it every single day. You need to clock into your job, go into your job, work your job to the highest potential that you can, and then clock out. If it's something you don't wanna do, then you still have to do it because that is the process. That's the process. You've got to be able to love the process. The process is learning that you don't want to do this, so you're trying something else to get you out of that situation. You have to fall in love with the process. The process is executing your goals over a long term. Going to the gym, you're not going to see results in the first week. But if you go to the gym for a whole year straight, you are going to see results in the gym. All right? I promise you that. No matter what it is, guys, you have to see it through. You need to execute your goals and you need to go further on with your goals and drag them all the way out. I don't care if it takes you years. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up on literally anything that you are trying to do in your life. Because when you give up, you're just like everybody else. But when you don't give up, you've beaten everybody else. And you will get to that point that you want to. You will reach those goals that you want to. I promise you. No matter if it takes years to get there, I promise you, as long as you stick to it and see through the process, you will get there. All right, guys. So the final thing, the number three thing that I like to do on a daily basis that's going to help me be more successful and makes me be successful is replicating success. Replicating the people that are in your region or your niche that you think are successful or they are successful and just replicating what they do. It's that simple. It's not really hard. If you want to be a basketball player, who should you watch? You should be studying film of Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Steph Curry. If you're a quarterback, you should be watching Tom Brady film. You want to be like someone? Find the one that is the most successful at that and just replicate exactly what they've done. That's all you have to do. Replicate exactly what the successful person in your genre has did. That is the way you become successful. 
you have to adapt to it, okay? Just like in the NBA, Kobe Bryant, what did he always do? He mastered Michael Jordan's moves. He mastered it. He called Michael Jordan. He would talk to him on the phone, bug him nonstop, because he wanted to learn exactly what it was like to get to that next level, to be the best ever. So he had to put in the work. Take somebody successful, follow exactly what they do, and you're gonna be successful. It's not hard. It's very, very easy. The process is hard, but that part of it is not hard. Take somebody that is successful, follow exactly what they do, guys. Replicating success is a huge thing when it comes to you advancing your goals. Because for example, you know, if you're following somebody that is not good at what you're trying to be, then obviously what are you trying to replicate? You're replicating something that is no good. Just like how they say who you surround yourself with is who you're gonna end up like. If you wanna be an NBA player, you surround yourself by NBA type caliber players, what are you gonna do? It's gonna force you to rise to the occasion. Anything in sports, you surround yourself with sports players that are next level, you're gonna rise to the occasion. There's no difference in the business game, financial game, any of that, it's all the same. Put the good, successful people around you and you are gonna rise up to their equal. This is one of the most important things though. I really, really go behind this, is replicating success. If you follow exactly what somebody does, you're just gonna end up just like them. There's no luck, there's nothing that comes along with it, guys. You're just replicating, that's all you're doing, replicating exactly what they do. So remember that, replicate successful people, surround yourself with successful people that will bring you to a new level. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys go and hit that subscribe button. And also, make sure you guys go check out these other videos as well, because they just might help you just as much as this one did. All right, guys, as always, I'm Frank with Linebaker Sports. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, I'm out.